Here's the problem that today's video is going to solve for you. If you've got a digital video transmitter or even a high-powered analog video transmitter, then when you are working on your quadcopter on the bench, they overheat and shut down. And usually they won't be damaged. Most of them have protection inside so that when they overheat, they simply reduce their output power and then stop working. But that's a real problem. If you are trying to test a video transmitter on the bench, you need it to be at full power. And especially with the digital video transmitters, they overheat so freaking fast that if you're trying to flash firmware or something, there's a risk that they'll overheat in the middle of the flash and shut down and then bad things could happen. Or maybe you just need to plug your quadcopter in and let it sit for a minute before like the director calls action. Huh? Today, I'm gonna show you the method that I've found that I think is really freaking good for keeping your video transmitter cool on the bench. I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're gonna learn something today. No surprise, these are all fans, and it actually doesn't take very much airflow over your video transmitter to keep it from overheating. They're designed to use the airflow while you're flying, and when, while you're flying, they get a ton of airflow from the props or from the fact that you're flying a billion miles an hour. But on the bench, even a very small amount of airflow will keep them cool, and really, you could use any kind of fan or air blowing device to keep them cool. But for my case, I wanted something that was small, compact and battery powered so that I could easily use it on the bench without having to pull out a great big honking fan and take up space on the bench. Or I could take it with me into the field. And the first one of these devices was actually given to me as a gift. It is an O2 cool fan and it is designed, it actually comes with a neck hanging strap and it's designed to hang around your neck and blow cool air on you in the summer. But I just cut that strap off. It is USB chargeable and has three speeds, one, two, three and it's fine let me turn that off so it's not making a lot of noise it's fine but the reason that i've moved away from it is well number one the battery runs down and then i forget to charge it and so i wanted something that could be powered off of usb so in theory i could plug it into a computer if i didn't have a charged battery but number two i find it a little bit hard to sort of place this like on this quadcopter with the prop off you can kind of lay it right here and it'll blow air over the video transmitter. That's not so bad. But when you've got the props on, as I often do when I'm working with my quadcopter on the bench, <laughs> it can be a little difficult to get it placed. Like I would lean it against the prop kind of like this. And then sometimes it would like fall and I found it just a little awkward to get lined up. So this is fine, but it's probably more expensive than you need. I'll put links to all of these down in the video description. You can check your local prices. The next thing I got was this. This is a 120 millimeter USB powered computer case fan. And uh, it just, it's got a USB plug to give it five volts. And it's even got an on off switch with high, medium and low. Although to be honest with you, I'm just gonna grab this USB battery pack here. Uh, it's not that much power. This is high. It's not making that much air. <laughs> My graphics card has decided it wants to get in the game and the fans on it are surging right now. That's eh, fine. It'll, it'll do the job just fine. Um, the main thing that made me move away from this was once again, the difficulty of placing it. So you can see that I like, how am I going to place this? So it blows air on the video transmitter. This, will probably work because it's just blowing so much dang air. Probably will work, but the air is not very focused on the video transmitter. It's just kind of going all over the place. And if I try and, if I try and get it in there close like that, that happens. So this was not ideal. And that led me to this, which is just another style of electronics fan. Uh, again, link in the video description. Uh, it is a little bit smaller and a little bit more contained. It still has blades here that you can get something into if you stick like something in there but it's a little harder to get into and the air that comes out of it is way more focused because it's coming out of this smaller opening and it is fairly easy to kind of just tuck this up in here and get it right next to the video transmitter you can tuck it in like this on some quadcopters it makes more sense to kind of lay it down flat and blow the air and even if it's not like super close to the VTX it still is sort of blowing a column of air that does a pretty good job of keeping it cool and this to me 
is the best of any of the ones that I've used. All you need is a USB power source or a USB battery bank if you, you know, have that kind of stuff that you bring to the field with you. And it's super, super easy to use and it's not too expensive. So that's really just the point of this video. I found this cool thing. I thought you'd want to know about it. And if you want to pick it up, I'll put a link in the video description where you can get it. That's it. That's the end of the video. Happy flying.